less than a bad nit. I mean, I'm familiar with regrets as a clear bitch between you and your designs. The shooters is behind. Either that or the wizards remove them like Hezekiah. All hail a benevolent beast from the park rails. With the charm to turn over his ex like car wheels. And we out alive, for a thousand, we out alive, we out alive. Baby, Hennessy all stars. And now I'm bottle to bottle and hopping out of rows. Great night sex, that's the way I'm supposed to. The low top Kobe tents feel like they were lifeless. You missed it, you never said print and made a post. God bless. I'm shopping, paying projects. Spend a little bit with your flashes. It's not a problem. I'm in the mood to do the sewer, the ruby, and the Gabriel Rodriguez, a key figure in skateboarding's evolution, began making waves in the early 90s. His career is marked by being part of the influential LA Boys Creek, alongside legends like Guy Mariano, Rudy Johnson, and Paulo Diaz. Known for his technical style and effortless approach, Gabriel gained recognition for his smooth execution, often favoring grinds and table skating over the flippity-floppity tricks that became popular during that era. His early career highlights included riding for Steve Rocco's World Industries and working closely with Nadas Kalpas at 101 Skateboards. Despite the skateboarding world's rapid evolution, Gabriel chose to take a step back during a period when skating style shifted to what he considered a more chaotic and sloppy approach. As a result, his video parts, while highly anticipated, were often short. However, his influence remained strong, with his 101 board being one of the best sellers, even without him producing much footage. connected with Paolo Diaz, whose groundbreaking tricks, such as switch ollieing picnic tables, reinvigorated his passion for skating. This renewed energy led to his involvement with Chocolate Skateboards, which Chico Brenes and Paolo helped establish as a sister company to Girl Skateboards. Gabriel's role in Chocolate was solidified, and although his video parts remained short, his style and presence left a lasting impact. One of his more memorable moments came with his performance in Paco, Chocolate's iconic skate video, where Gabriel embraced the project's playful nature by participating in a dubbed-over kung-fu-style acting sequence. 
the part reflected not only his skating, but also his sense of fun and camaraderie with his teammates. Gabriel's career took a downturn in the late 90s after he broke his ankle in 97 and began struggling with personal issues, particularly alcohol. This contributed to his eventual departure from chocolate, marking a significant change in his skateboarding journey. Despite this, Gabriel remained loyal to the brand, never seeking another sponsor after leaving. that he and his close friends in the LA Boys crew faced, including personal struggles and the changing dynamics of skateboarding culture. His bond with his crew, especially with Guy Mariano, remained strong despite the ups and downs. Guy's comeback in the 2000s served as a source of inspiration for Gabriel, who always viewed Guy as one of the greatest skaters in the world. Gabriel Rodriguez passed away due to complications related to cancer. Although many specific details about the cause of his death have not been disclosed, the skateboarding community remembered him as an influential and respected figure. Throughout his career, Gabriel was a wizard on a skateboard. Ban This was the official signal that a new era was upon us, and Gabriel was instrumental in sending that signal. Always a real dude and a skateboarding original, he will be missed by the skateboarding community.